Yo, we are fun. Yeah, because you know, some people is like, all right, I know if I want to learn something, I got to spend time practicing it and getting the motion of it. Us, if we don't know right away, it's like, yeah, that, then maybe that's just not for me. <laughs> I, I, I don't like doing that. I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. I charge my crystals in a full moon. I want it, I got it. I get everything I want because I attract What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Virgo Therapy, and we are now in session. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing Virgo's top fears and insecurities. Mm -hmm. Starting off with number one, I say that we are, one of our fears is losing control. I feel like for us, if we know we're in control of something, we know that everything is going to go as planned, it's going to go smooth, selling, we ain't going to have no problems, it's going to mess up. But if we feel like we don't have that control and it's in the hands of somebody else, it's just like, we panic mode. We we got anxiety now because we don't know yeah. what's to come up or whatever's going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, I think uh Virgos want to be in control of everything having to do with their life. Every part of their life needs to be controlled. And when it isn't, we like not that we can spiral, but we'll be sh extremely stressed. Mm -hmm. And depending on what that 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 control part that they lost is, what well, how sensitive they are to that matter how significant that person or that that thing is yeah a, a virgo can yeah be be out there like just mm -hmm. be outside of i don't know the world like mm -hmm. i'm more in my head now i'm more I'm, i can't even hang with my friends now because things just not lined up the yeah. way that i want them to be yeah. yeah i was just about to say that even when it comes to our friends and our relationships it's like we still want to have some sense of control even over them being in our lives because we feel like if you mess up now, that's going to trickle off into my life. And now we can't afford for our life to be messed up. So either you got to go or you got to get it together. And I got to have some control. Over yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I so. agree. That's so that's a that's a pretty big one. I think the ones that we're going to mention are all pretty big for Virgos. Mm -hmm. And whether I guess you all can put them in a list of what y'all feel is y'all top. So our second one we feel is pretty big is making mistakes <laughs> a virgo hates to make a mistake i i yo i i don't know why it feels it just feels like i don't know we really really hard on ourselves yeah. like you know what i'm saying if we drop the ball in any way we feel like we could have done better oh we knew better than this like i'm better yeah, than yeah. this you'd be really really hard on yourself um when someone when you make a mistake and so, especially when someone you know notices it and yeah. brings it to your attention yeah. you feel like oh cringe yeah, it's so cringe especially when somebody notice it but even when they don't notice it it's like we still beat ourselves up regardless yeah. Yeah. so whatever the mistake is we still gonna be ourselves regardless because we just feel like that shouldn't happen we yeah. should have made that mistake yeah like, so it's like yeah, yeah like we, we, we knew we better like that. Mm. Next one we would say is falling in love with the wrong person. I feel like for us, it's just like because we put so much effort and work into the people that we decide to deal with and it end up being the wrong person, I think that just completely crush us because it's like we know all that we're willing to give you. And for you to be the wrong person, like we feel like you just wasted a whole bunch of time for no reason. I think the reason why it is such a big deal for us or, or why it is a fear for us is because when it comes to love with Virgos, it's like because it takes us so long to find the one, and when we finally find someone that we may consider the one or the one who actually got us to feel those emotions, we know mm -hmm. we're locked in. Yeah. And it's hard for us to turn those feelings off. Like, um, sure, we can, I know we're more in our head sometimes where we can make the right decision because we feel like it's the best decision for mm -hmm. us, but are we effed up? Are we hurting? Yeah. Is it is it yeah. stinging? Yes, yes. We we are we are heartbroken because we put like like Naya said we put a lot of our time and our energy and our resources into this relationship and then when you realize like damn I like that's not even this person ain't even who I thought they was I thought we was more in love I thought they was better I thought we were more compatible whatever the mm -hmm. reasons why you guys aren't working out you feel like also goes back to you making a mistake like yeah mm -hmm. I'll yeah. Yo, like how I'm not I get this wrong. Yeah, you know just, what I'm saying? Yep, yeah. I was just about to say that, like, as far as like when we do start to see them red flags and it's like all the pieces align with each other, it's like, how didn't we see this? Yeah. Like, how we didn't see this coming or how we didn't see them moving like this? Or it's just like, yo. Yeah, yeah. it's real hard for a Virgo to, you know, to admit 
that you know they were wrong like mm -hmm. damn like this really isn't it like mm -hmm. I, I don't know how i didn't notice it like how 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 did not see it or whatever and because also our emotions again it's like just so hard for us to get there with people and we know like damn like this is gonna be a hard this is gonna this is gonna be an uphill battle trying to get myself out of the situation yeah so yeah i think that it's also a super duper fair for a Virgo, because it's like once I'm in it, I'm in it. So I want to. I have to make sure that this is right for yeah. me. Yeah, and I was just about to say because of like when we are in it, when we choose to be in a relationship. We in it long term, mm -hmm. so it's not like we could just up leave and just be done with the person because mm -hmm. it's like we ain't about to go hop to the next person. So yeah. we gotta really, really one thousand percent sure make sure that all right, this ain't it. So we might linger around until we get it together mentally real quick, but yeah. After we know that we done done, we we definitely gonna escape. But it's just the fact of like we could have experienced certain things in the past, and then another person resembled those same things, mm -hmm. and it's just like I went through this before. How did I see that? But in love, we be blind like a <laughs> <laughs> we be so blind in love, like yo. Like, but that's what? everybody. That's yeah. everybody. But I what I do think is that. Virgo tries to do their due diligence before they commit to a person. So yeah. before I say like, oh, you really mine or we're really in this relationship, they try to do all that they can to do like, you know, their background check mm -hmm. to see what type of person this person is. How do I feel about them? Do I think they're genuine? Do I think that they're not? Do I, do I see it actually lasting for years and years? I think they, I think they do that beforehand. So if if you do find yourself in a situation where it's like, damn, I thought this woman was better than I thought she was. I thought mm -hmm. she was something else. And now, you know, we in this mess or whatever. So it is hard for a Virgo to, you know, admit it. You know I mean, once, but once they admit it, like, I really, I messed up here. Like, I really messed up. I think that it, you, they can get themselves together. They can. They can check themselves in this situation and then move forward smarter. Yeah. And so our top fear for a Virgo, we believe, is not living up to our potential. That, for us, is, like, huge because I feel like that's one of the main things we focus on. Mm -hmm. Like, an everyday oh, yeah. thing, always striving to be better. What's next? I got to be working towards something. I got to achieve this by this time. I got to be at a certain point in my life at this age it's like we always got a goal oriented like yeah. you know thing about us so that's our daily stresses right yep. there so and it's like if we're not achieving it we're not getting it it's like we stressed out we depressed now we got anxiety because it's like that's all we think about Ooh. being better being the greatest that we could be and you know doing doing the most with our life so if we're not doing that it's like yeah we, we super stressed out we have in the moment yeah, because it'll feel like, well, what's what's the point of me? What's my passion? Yeah, what's, what's my purpose? Yeah, what's my purpose in life? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we always thinking about that. And you are right. That's pretty much our makeup. Yeah. That is pretty much who yeah. a Virgo is yeah. and all that a Virgo stands for. So when, you know, wherever you are in your life where you feel like, you know, I could be doing a little bit more. I could be doing this. The only thing I would say is, you know, don't beat yourself up if you aren't for whatever reason um aren't hitting certain goals but i i think you should think about like the the greater good of it all like who all would benefit from this this talent you have or this gift you may have yeah. and you know we are we are people who serve others you know what i'm saying we really we really do we want to help others so think of it that way like um you know the world needs you know your gifts yeah yeah i would say like with us it's like Another thing is like we naturally gifted to mm -hmm. know how to do things just from the rip, like without even trying or without ever doing it before. It's like we naturally good. And sometimes we underestimate ourselves as well yeah, because yeah. it's like we know we can do it or we know that we great or we know that whatever we put our minds to, we could do it. But sometimes that fear is like, oh, maybe what if, I, what if I don't do it correct? Or what if I don't do it this right? Or what if I don't do it mm -hmm. perfect? Then we procrastinate. We start talking ourselves out of stuff. And we real big on procrastination. We've been on had a whole game plan, we about to do this, that, <laughs> yeah. and the third, and then talk ourselves completely out of it yeah. because of the fear. Yeah. Like, so it's You're just right. the fear of like wanting to have everything perfect. And if we can't do it perfect, it's like, I shouldn't do it at all. 
that, yep, that's another fear, being perfect and doing everything perfectly. Mm-hmm. Like you want to, you can't, you know, straight out the gate, know everything and be good at everything. You know, in the beginning stages, you will stumble, you will mess up, but you just, you know, give yourself some grace to try again and try again and try again. And so if that's something you really love to do or mm-hmm. something out there that you really, really want to do, you should do it. Because mm-hmm. remember... <laughs> I mean, it's just a side joke. Remember, I think we had a conversation. We were saying, like, a Virgo, if a Virgo finds that they're not good at something, they'll stop doing it. Yeah. Yeah. They'll we just, will. We'll, we'll we just will. get rid of it. We really, we, no, we really will. Because it's like, we so natural. We can never do it before. As soon as we try it, it's like, oh, it's easy. I know how to do that. Mm-hmm. So they get it. Oh, no, I don't like that. Like, like yeah, if yeah, I can't like get that. it, like, like, if I tried it one time and then I tried it the second time, it's like, I'm just not getting it. It ain't for me. Yeah. It ain't, yeah. <laughs> it ain't for me, that. It ain't for me. Like, when you, like, Virgo, you can just try yeah. a little bit harder. Nah, nah, nah. Because I would have picked it up already. <laughs> if it was for me, I would have picked it up already. <laughs> Yo, that's really how it be, though. Like, it, it, it really is like that. Like, Yo, we are fun. Yeah, people. you know, some people is like, all right, I know if I want to learn something, I got to spend time practicing it and getting the motion of it. Us, if we don't know right away, it's like, yeah, that, then maybe that's just not for me. <laughs> I, I, I don't like doing that. Like, I tried it, but yeah, I ain't like that. And we only tried it two times. Ain't even give it and a we chance. don't like it because we yeah, ain't the best yeah, at it. That's yeah, why we got to yeah. be the best. We got to be the best at it. So if we're not the best at it, it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Yo, and that and that is serious. Like Yo. I think you like that. Like even with with people, it's like, yeah, I, I thought I did, but I ain't like it. Yeah, yeah I don't like, yeah. like it. So we just Yo, we is so yeah. funny. <laughs> we we are our own worst enemy, bro. Mm-hmm. Like we make it we make certain things so much harder than they need to be just because we have such high expectations of ourselves. Mm-hmm. I mean, the expectations for ourselves is just so extremely high. Like we think we just like I mean it it we are a lot of times we are pretty pretty the best mm-hmm. at like certain things and we do you know get things pretty easily so we when something is too hard it humbles, yeah. <laughs> it humbles us and we just throw it in trash yeah, like, like oh no 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 ain't gonna embarrass me <laughs> that's day yeah, yeah that is like, so funny that's so funny but like, you then guys we be all can. reminiscing on like I can't believe I couldn't do that. Or I can't be yo, this step on like, hey, yo, I always talk to stuff yeah. about when I was trying coding. Yo, that is some hard yo, stuff. Yo, I to tried code. that before. Yeah, it is. And it, I was just really like, hard. I would get it, and then if I don't do it like the second day, if I don't do it again, like back to back to back, I will forget it, the, yeah. all the codes. And coding like, oh is very God. coding is very hard. That's you know like, how hard that was. Yeah. If you could do that, you could do a lot of things. Cause like coding. Yeah, I'm still mad at myself lot. for like, not being able to get it. Like I know I'm smarter than this. I tried coding for a couple of weeks and I like yeah, this ain't that, this ain't that you know. is yeah. You gotta have a certain brain. Like to me, I mean Virgos are very smart. They are smart. Like me, I'm not a math person. I'm what you call right. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's more like art. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, talking. Yeah. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to deal with the numbers, but it to me it was so ugh. What, Colton? Yeah, it was just so Yeah, I get it. It was a, a lot to it. For a couple of weeks and I was just like, Yeah, this this ain't gonna work. But um so you guys, you know, of course, we wanna hear from you guys about whether, you know, what you what are some of your fears you think as a Virgo, we'll state as a Virgo, some of your Virgo fears. I know that we all were raised different, we have certain fears personally. But as Virgos, what do you think your fear as a collective is? And is any of the ones that we named, you know, one of your top Yeah, fears? just let us know in the time below. Let us know a few of y'all experiences with it. Because like Hope said, we are all different, but we definitely have insecurities. Don't nobody know about it, but we have Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. That's another thing. We don't yeah, want to let yeah, nobody, nobody know. Nobody know, but yeah. So, yeah. But it's right for y'all. Yep. And we want to thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next video. And that is a wrap, y'all.